everyone, it's Terry over at Decorate with Tip and More. Welcome back to our Wednesday video. The girls and I are going to do a Pinterest recreation with you today. So fun. We do this every once in a while. We go through our Pinterest page and kind of search through things that we like to have in our own home and try to recreate it in our style. So today we are going to be using Lavender Brook Farm fall arrangement that she created on her page. Let me show you her um, quick video of how she did it. Okay, so I'm gonna have the other girls recreation up on my feet, so check those out as well. Now, what she used was adobo and some greenery, some hydrangeas, some dried stems, and some pumpkins. So what I decided to do is I have adobo and I could use that, but I really want to use my arrangement that I picked up in um, Kirkland's a couple years ago. It is long, just like hers, but it has um, three votive cups in the center of that where you can place candles. And it does have um, styrofoam at the base of it. What I decided to do was take the middle one out. It's just stuck in there in the styrofoam with a peg. We're not gonna use that one. So instead, I'm gonna use this taller votive um, glass from the Dollar Tree and glue it onto um, the place where I just took the smaller one off. I'm gonna use hot glue because I don't wanna permanently put um, something there because I might want to put the other one back in its place. So right now I have a tall glass and then two smaller ones. I think that will look really pretty. For the base of my um, arrangement here, I'm going to use some old leaves that I had from a prior project. I didn't use the greenery, I just used the flowers. And what I did is I took the bits and pieces I had and an old um, stem bundle and I just plop the greenery onto the stem and what that helps me to do is I can cut this off the stem and poke them into my styrofoam because like Lavender Brook Farm she just laid hers in her dobo I'm gonna stick mine into the styrofoam since mine has a styrofoam base so I'm just using bits and pieces of my greenery. This greenery is a real pretty green and it has just some brown tips at the end of the leaves. Just reminds me of fall. So what I'm going to do is clip them off of the stem and just place them in the foam all the way around to um, cover the uh, base of my arrangement. So I'm not going to completely cover um, everything but it will give me a foundation of greenery so I can build from there. And like I said, um, you can if, if I had more I might put more on here but I'm just trying to um, create a base for my um, arrangement. See where I want to put this one. Maybe I'll put it right here. All right, so what I started is with um, just a foundation of greenery and I placed it all around the uh, the base of my arrangement. And I what I did, remember, I used um, an old, I saved this when I pop out um, the flowers. I saved my um, greenery um, stems like this just for this purpose. Okay, now I want to start building um, the uh, arrangement. Now she used, um, I think she used all dry flowers. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this bundle that I um, purchased at Walmart. I think it was like $5.97 or $4.97. I'm not 100%, but they had orange and then they had this kind of a brownish look. It's yes and pumpkin um, spray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all of this off of the bundle here and I'm going to keep the uh, stem intact. So what I'm going to do is just cut it a little bit short so it will uh, nestle down in my arrangement. So I cut everything off and it gives me a good little um, stem to keep. 
And um, I'm going to start building my arrangement with flowers. And um, I'm just placing them on there came with two hydrangeas. So I'm gonna place one on this side and then one in here. If you can see what I did, I just put one on one corner and then on the opposite corner, I placed it in front. This one is in back and this one's in front. I'm going to um, place them just like that. What that does is just gives me a little bit of flowers so it does come with this um, pretty um, grassy type and I'm going to place that on the other side of the votive that I had the flower. I'm going to place that there just to give it color and then the other side here and I'm sorry that you can't see it but I will share it with you um, when I get it done. And then I'm going to place this one over here. So I'm just building my foundation by adding um, flowers, but I'm making sure I um, space them uh, in a rhythm. And, all right, and then the thing we have left besides the pumpkins, I'm going to add the pumpkins last. But um, are these two, um, it looks kind of like um, baby's breath on some grass. I'm going to add that um, to my arrangement as well. Um, let me show you what it looks like with that with the greenery and the bundle, just one bundle from Walmart. I love how it looks so far. So now what we're going to do is take Take these, um, the sprays that I purchased in Hobby Lobby. And what I'm going to do is, and I hate doing this, but we're going to do it anyway, is I'm pulling these off the stem and using them singly. Um, they do still have a pick, so I can put them inside um, the, uh, the arrangement. So I'm going to place these in the styrofoam. All right, so I have um, the uh, Hobby Lobby spray in the uh, arrangement. What I did is I poked them in the foam. You can lay them if you don't have foam or you can add foam to your uh, dobo or whatever if it's easier for you to arrange in foam. But anyway, this was so easy. I'm not a florist. Um, I just like to create. Um, but I just stuck them, making sure that I um, didn't put all in one um, area. I just spread them out. The Dollar Tree spray. This is Silver Dollar. It's orange and yellow. But the two um, different parts of that stem. And each of them have two leaves. If you could see. Um, I'm going to separate them. But each individual stem and place that in my arrangement. Just kind of keep in mind your colors, what, how you're placing them in your arrangement. You don't want too much orange on this side and too much yellow. You want to spread all the colors out here. So here is my arrangement so far. And now we're going to just add the theme to um, the uh, arrangement and that's the pumpkins. I'm gonna um, go ahead and use the two that came from the um, Walmart bundle to the center. Since I have two of them, I'm gonna add them to the center um, just right between the votive cups, one lower than the other. And then I'm going to add the pumpkin picks from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to add one to the side here, if you could see, and then the two pumpkins I added, if you can see, one here and one here. And like I said, I'm going to show you a close-up when I get it all uh, finished and the candles lit. It'll look really, really pretty. And then um, 
to the other one I'm going to place it I'm going to place it over here I know I have one beige pumpkin here I'm going to place it here I don't want it to be symmetry um, as the other one um, I'm going to use some orange and place the orange on that side and then this one I'm going to place since I have this one on here I'm going to place this one here and I think I'm going to call this done if you could see I'm going to add my candles to it and I have some battery operated ones but right now I just grabbed these from the craft room I'm going to plop this larger one in the center and then these two smaller ones I got at the Dollar Tree a while back and look how cute that is. I'm gonna light my candles and I'm gonna share with you what it looks like, but I just love how this looks. It will look so pretty on a mantle, on a coffee table, in the center of your dining table with a beautiful fall um, table runner or tablecloth. I love this. So I hope you enjoy watching me create the arrangement from Lavender Brook Farm into my own creation and my own style. I hope you all have a great day. Make sure you go watch up the other girls to see how they made their uh, fall arrangement. If you like what you see, please keep on watching um, my page. I will be sharing more contents like this um, in the near future. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. God bless. See you tomorrow.